Hi, I'm James Myers from Royal Page First Contact Realty. And this channel is your source for real estate related information in the great city of Barrie, Ontario, Canada. September's over, summer's over, we're into October now, so I'm here with your statistics video for the month of September, 2018. Well, summer's over, days are getting shorter, temperature's getting cooler, at least we're not in Calgary, because in Calgary this week, at the beginning of the week, at the beginning of October, they got a whole big dumping of snow, and we still have some nice, half decent weather here right now. But anyway, in Barrie, in the month of September, the average price for all freehold properties, that's freehold detached, semi-detached, and freehold townhouses, the average price was $488,600, and there was 153 sales. That is down a bit from the average price in August of $495,502. The average price for all detached properties in the month of September was $517,219 and there was 117 detached units sold. That number is up a little bit from August when the average price was $516,858 but only by like a $350-$400 price difference so they haven't really changed that much. The condominium market. There were 28 condominiums sold in Barrie in September, with an average price of $323,655. Now that's down a bit from August, when the average price was $340,307. Now, condominiums prices are down on average over the past few months. But that being said, one sale or two sales at the high end of the price range, or say at the lower end of the price range for $250,000 roughly, with only being less than 30 sales, one or two sales at the top end of the market can really affect the average, but at the end of the day, condominium prices are down. We've just ended the third quarter of 2018, ended September 30th, so I'll update you on the year-to-date average price up until September 30th. The year-to-date average price for all freehold properties in Barrie is $503,052 and there have been 1,362 units sold. The average price for detached freehold properties within Barrie is $531,624 and there have been 1,063 sales. Now the average price for condominiums year to date up until the end of September is $351,664 and there have been 271 or rather 275 condominiums sold. In the past couple of months I've included statistics for areas surrounding Barrie, Innisfil, Springwater, but this month I'm going to include a statistic about average number of days on the market. How long on average does it take a house to sell and why that number has changed in the last few years. Five, 10, 15 years ago, the average number of days on the market for freehold properties within Barrie was 45 to 50 days. 46, 47, it would change a little bit here and there, but for years it was consistently between 45 and 50 days. And in Innisfil, it was between 50 and 60 days. But today when I looked at the average number of days on the market, it's 31. But that's not a true number and you as a home buyer want to know why this number has changed. Years ago when we listed a property, you'd list a property, you'd fill out the paperwork and you would send the information, the paperwork and the pictures to the real estate board and they would put the listing on the system. Well, they don't do that anymore. We have to put the listing on the system ourselves. We type it in and put the pictures on and we do it ourselves. But years ago when they used to do it for us, if you wanted to cancel a listing, it's fine. You could cancel a listing. But if you wanted to relist the property within a couple of days or within a week or whatever the deadline was, the time limit was, if you wanted to relist a property right away, you had to pay a fine. So the, now there's no fine because we do the work ourselves. So therefore, when a guy wants to reduce the price of a house, he wanted to do a price change, people will just cancel the listing and relist it as a new listing. Like for instance, today I saw a listing that had been listed since June and it has, they've been lowering the price and it has been listed four times. This is the fifth listing. There's four canceled listings behind it. So when you see this property, it's been listed for a couple of days now, you think, oh, it's only been on the market for two days. But meanwhile, it's been on the market for four months. Each of those listings was roughly 30 days or whatever. I don't know. But people will do it to change a price, to get a new listing, to get it appear as a new listing. So sometimes maybe you'll, you're looking and you'll see a house and it will drop off of realtor.ca. You wonder where it went, but the next day it appears, it reappears with a new MLS number and probably a new price. Well, that's usually what's happened. The guy, the agent has canceled the listing and relisted it at a different price. It's fine to do it. It's legal and everything. It's fine. 
but it does affect the number of days, the average number of days on the market for us. And there is no way to track these canceled listings. The system just won't do it. If a property has got six canceled listings behind it, it'll show days on the market when it finally does sell. It'll show it's been on the market for 14 days or however long that listing has been active for. So it doesn't give a true number of average days on the market. Right now it's 31 days. As I said, it's average 31 days on the market till it sells, but I'm sure that number is a whole lot higher. I just don't know how to get that number, an accurate number. As of today, I saw 474 active freehold properties for sale in Barrie and 125 condominiums. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button down below or the one in the corner of the video here. And I hope you liked my big contrast today. I got this pinkish rose colored background here and a green shirt just so to make sure you could see me this time. Thanks for watching.